Good morning, Mataji tip number five. 16, 17, and 18 of the Dhammavada verses. Here one develops a mind that rejoices now, and in the future one rejoices. In both states, the well doer rejoices. One who rejoices a lot will be able to see the purity of their own deeds, speech, and thoughts. When one is happy now, they will be happy in the future. In both states, the well-doer is happy. Thinking, I have done good, in the past, one becomes happy and will easily experience a blissful state of mind. These three verses are interesting. One who develops a mind that rejoices now, in the future one rejoices. So, what you do in the present moment dictates what happens in the future. We feed and direct the direction of our mind. One who rejoices a lot will be able to see the purity of their own deeds, speech, and thoughts. You will not forget your own deeds, your speech, and thoughts if you are rejoicing in life as you move along. Certainly, the Buddhists are the happy ones. The third part, when one is happy now, they will be happy in the future. In both states, the well-doer is happy. Thinking I have done good in the past, one becomes happy and then will easily experience a blissful state of mind. Continuing with your meditation, you always want to have a mind that is open and not carrying the burden of something you have done that is incorrect in life. If you break a precept, be sure that you stop for a moment. You say your precepts again. Say that you will not do that again to yourself. Then continue on your way. If you do this, you will continue to be uplifted. An uplifted and happy mind is easily taken into meditation, and then you can experience a blissful state of mind. So each of the Dhammapada verses that Bhante chose had to do with uplifting us in our days, helping to guide us along our way. These are some of the most important verses that people really need to remember. Try to memorize some of them. Carry them through the day. Keep practicing. Keep smiling as you go on your way. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.